so I'm in Koreatown and I'm trying to find a location where we're supposed to shoot the interview for Total Truth, uh, like a promotional interview. Uh, and I'm not really sure if this like, is like the best place to be. Koreatown is like sort sort of like close to downtown, so I don't think this is like the best place to be, like uh, at night. <laughs> Uh, it's like eight o'clock, uh, but I'm trying to find like the the right place, and then I'm almost there. Hello. Hello. And well, I just like passed the church, so that's sort of comforting, I guess. Uh, I don't know why. I'm not even like religious, but I guess like church is just like. A safe place, I guess. I don't know why. Even if I'm not like religious, I feel like churches are are like really safe for people. I'm not really sure why. I haven't really. Well, I have been in a church, but still, I'm not really. That's not really the place I hang out. If that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm like sort of scared, especially after that like police thing. I don't think I told you, but seriously, that was really scary. Anna. And she will not have her, she will not be called Anna. 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 Like, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. I think like Anna. the Swedish name uh, Anna is also like pronounced like sort of like the same way I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Wait, where are you from? Oh, here slash Mexico. Oh, really? I was born Mexican. Yeah. Oh, really? I thought you were Indian. <laughs> <laughs> you were Indian. I guess half over, you know? Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah, really yeah nice. for like, um... Did you want me to? No. I think Let's it's recording now. Frame it. Okay. Is it Go ahead and sit. Okay. All right. So the uh, the campaign's called "What Is Your Total Truth?" So okay. that's what we'll yeah. we'll be asking everybody in the audience to ask themselves, "What is your total truth?" But first, we're going to speak about your character, Dana. Okay. Um, which I think you're familiar oh, with. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you're the expert on Dana. So feel free to just answer it as you know. There's no right or wrong answers. Okay. okay. So what is Dana's total truth? I don't actually, I don't think she really knows like uh, like the whole truth of total truth because I think like her perspective of everything is a little twisted so and I feel like her view like during like the whole series is kind of like changing because I feel like when she comes into the series she comes in and like look at like the situation from uh, one point of view and then it like changes when the oh. like series goes and I think that's gonna show in like the script and everything. Oh yeah. good, that's excellent. What do you totally like about Dana? Uh, I actually like her personality. Uh, I think she's uh, like deep down she's like a really good girl but I feel like um, the influence of like the people in Los Angeles and like the whole Los Angeles scene is kind of like rubbing off on her so she kind of goes from like this really good girl to uh, like a really bad, uh, not a bad person but a person that's like really misled and that go, goes down a really like dark path. Yeah, she does. What do you totally dislike about Dana? Ooh, uh, <laughs> I think I just like, um, one thing that I think I like dislike about Dana is that her, she's very easy to manipulate. She's mm. very, um, she's like a little puppy almost. Like if she, or uh, like a little animal that sees like something shiny, she like runs after it. Or if she sees like something that like seems like really, really fun to her, she will run after it, even if it might be like uh, really dangerous or really like something really, really bad. So I feel like she's really. Naive, Naive, sort of. Okay. And I think that's a bad thing in her case. In her case, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is Dana to uh, totally being untruthful about? Uh, I feel like she's living like a secret life almost. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, she kind of like changes her life when she moves to LA. So I, I feel like she builds up this whole like 
other personality, like persona of herself or something. Uh, and she kind of lies to her dad about who she is and what she's doing. And also, I feel like she's only telling things that she thinks is good things. I'm not really sure. What is Dana's favorite TV show? Uh, I feel like Dana's TV show, favorite TV show would be something like maybe The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills or like some like really really glamorous show because that's like sort of the things she likes and like why she like moved to Los Angeles. She likes this like really glamorous and like um, like cool like jet setter life I think uh -huh. and that sort of Kiki and Ginger sort of presents to her uh -huh. and I feel like she thinks that's really really cool. Um, what TV show could you see Dana in as a regular? Like she can just walk on that TV show tomorrow and she'd fit right in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I don't know. Um, maybe... I wouldn't really say like Teen Mom, but I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> I feel like like that's sort of like the genre that like Ginger and Dana should be in, not like the high and like the Kardashians, for example. I feel like it would be something more a little like uh, <laughs> trashy. Yeah, trashier. Trashy. Like, <laughs> okay. no offense to my character. No, 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 none taken. I don't think she's trashy at all, but maybe there's a little bit of that. The teen mom. Um, well, so when Dane is 45 years old, what will she be like? Oh my god. Uh, I think when Dana like grows up, she will be have like a, a lot of regrets. Um, and I don't know, she might be going down like a really dark path or a really good path. I feel like she's like in the state of her life when she could like choose either ways so either she can go like the the way and like learn something from her experience and like take something from like this was really bad I shouldn't be doing this anymore uh, and learn something from it or like continue the path she's going on and have a lot of, a lot of regrets do a lot of things that uh, could be damaging to her and to a lot of other people too um, what makes Dana a winner? Um, I think Dana is a winner because of her like views on life. I feel like even if she's on this like really dark path, she still wants something good out of life. And, like she's not a bad person. She's like a really nice and sweet girl, even if she's uh, do do a lot of things that might be really um, shady and bad. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like she's a winner because deep down she is a really nice girl and I think she knows that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think that's a really, really good thing about her. Okay. Now let's talk about you. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is your total truth? Oh, uh, my total truth is um, I think it's a really, really good series. I think it's like uh, a good series about Los Angeles because I feel like a lot of like reality shows, a lot of like TV series and movies show LA in this like really glamorous and like uh, light that is like LA is so amazing and great and everything. Everybody makes it here in LA and everything is so great and awesome. If you move here, you're gonna make it like this. And that is so not the truth. When you move here, you actually see that there is not a lot of people who actually make it and you don't really see that on TV. So I feel like this is a really good series from the other perspective of the LA scene. Yeah, the LA scene. Yeah. How long have you been acting? I have been acting for like four years, like seriously. And I really like it. I think it's so much fun to like get into characters and like sort of creating different characters because you sort of have to become another person which is really really fun. Uh, I don't really know why and maybe I'm like bipolar or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really really fun. 
What has been your favorite character that you've played that you've really enjoyed becoming? Um, I don't know. I think it actually was my first character because it was so different than who I usually was. And it was also really, really hard because since this was my first role and it was like the complete opposite from who I was, it was such a like change. Mm -hmm. And I, I feel like that was like the first time I felt how great of an impact like a, a strong character can have on an audience. And the character I was playing was uh, Ka from the Jungle Book, and it was like a human version uh -huh. of the Jungle Book. And I was supposed to play this like really sexy and seductive like snake, and I was supposed to like have a sword and be like a ninja at the same time. <laughs> so <laughs> it was actually really really fun. That's yeah. a big challenge. <laughs> yeah. Um, what actor would you most like to work with? Oh, um, I don't know. I would have said like Lindsay Lohan, <laughs> uh, like a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but right now. Like in Mean Girls. Oh maybe. yeah, in Mean Girls or like in Freaky Friday because I feel like Lindsay Lohan was like such a great actress as a kid, and she was really really talented, and I like working with talented people. Uh, but right now I think I would like to work with maybe Emma Watson or Emma Stone because I feel like yeah. they're really great actresses. Yes, they are. Any male actors you would like to work with? Um, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I expected all the all the females to have like a male actor like real actually, quick, but it's no. actually been the opposite, which is really nice. I should maybe really think about that. I don't know. <laughs> um, if you could be in any movie, which movie would you choose? Uh, I think Harry Potter. That would be really cool, or like the Lord of the Rings. I'm like really, really fascinated by those kind of movies because, and also by the characters because they're like so different from the the people that we are today, or like the the normal people uh -huh. in the world because they're they're like they're not real and they have like this other mentality and like another like way of thinking. And also like the body movements are so different, you have to be like more physical with your body uh -huh. rather than if you like just playing in like a normal movie about like normal people. Mm -hmm. You can be like really normal and like just poised and just like really relaxed but if you're in like a war movie or like a fantasy movie you have to be a lot more physical and like rougher with your body and I think that's like really really impressive to do that. That's very interesting. Um... In a uh, total truth, which character do you think should die first? Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to kill anybody. <laughs> well, you don't have to kill them. But which, okay. okay. Uh, Maybe Dana? <laughs> oh, really? No, just... no, actually, no. I don't want like my character to die because I want to be in the series for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> but if we can bring you back as a ghost, you would choose your character? Oh, yeah, that would be. No, really? but I think it would be like, because. Um, I don't know, but somehow I feel like it would be really tragic if Dana died because I, I think the audience is, is going to see that Dana is not a bad person, she is a good girl, but she's like led down, down by this really, really bad path. So if she died, I think the emphasis on like the like Kiki's business and like the dark side of LA would be really like emphasized oh. I feel like, yeah. yeah would expose it as oh yeah yeah, yeah okay. really but i don't want to die <laughs> okay you weren't on the list but that you made such a really good case no, oh my God. <laughs> I <laughs> actually as you were talking i was like maybe it should be dana in the trunk oh, yeah. that one scene oh god because <laughs> um yeah dana turns on people but that's okay that's okay that's a really nice answer yeah. um <laughs> Which movie do you remember from recent or your childhood that you remember watching that you thought was totally real? You just watched it and you were living that movie. Uh, Spy Kids. <laughs> Spy Kids, really? Yes. Oh wow. And it's like now when I watch it, it's such a like I want to say like fake movie, but it's like sort of like like animated and like really unreal movie, and uh -huh. you can see it really clearly now. But when I was little. I thought it was like the coolest movie ever. I didn't see like the 
an unrealness of that movie, so I thought it, it was like the most amazing thing ever. Yeah, that's that was a, so like, cool. Really movie. Wow. Um, when did you, do you realize that movies were not real? Oh my god. Uh, I think I still really want to believe that movies are real, but I know they're not. <laughs> uh, maybe. 10, 9, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. What is your favorite TV show? Oh, uh, I think How I Met Your Mother, or Two and a Half Men. Okay. I like the comedy of those series. Okay. Um, so the, the Total Truth cast is very international. You're Swedish. <laughs> we have uh, somebody from Sierra Leone, Mexicans, Filipinos, Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. Japanese, Romanian. Um, and you speak English and Swedish. Oh, yeah. What other language do you wish you could speak? Spanish. For really? Sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's like it's a. I actually take Spanish in school, and I think it's like a really good language to know, and it's a beautiful language too. So I really want to learn. But it's well, there's a lot of Spanish language. speakers on this set, so. Oh, yeah. Um, and I, I have like a lot of Spanish friends too, and they always like speak Spanish, and I never understand what they're saying. Uh -huh. It's like so really annoying. <laughs> Yeah, well, you'll find that a lot in LA. So this is section is called the pitch. So we're talking about total truth. Um, can you tell me why this project is important to you? Um, I I think it's important to me because like of the story. I feel like the story is like really unique, and I feel like it's a story that should be told, even if it's not like based on a real story. It's based on a real city, Los Angeles, and, I, uh, and it's like the other side, or the glamorous side, and I feel like that is something that has to be done, so people don't only like see the glamorous and like really like amazing side like about like movie stars and rich housewives and like funny comedians and like the jokes and everything, and so I feel like this is like a series that's more relatable and it has more like insight than the normal TV shows. Okay. Yeah. Great. Um, so to the people that are watching Total Truth uh, online, what is your promise that you're going to make to them? As uh, far as the series and your character and the whole production, what promise can you make them? I promise that I'm going to be the best Dana I can be. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be really dramatic when I get a chance and I'm going to be really brutal uh, when I, when I, we go to those scenes. Uh, <laughs> even if I'm not really comfortable being like brutal in my real life, but that's what's so great about characters, you can be another person. Uh, but I'm going to make, uh, do my best to make a really, really good character. So you can like enjoy the movie. Excellent. Um, can you tell us one thing that you need on set that is going to make you that much happier to be playing Dana? A good attitude. <laughs> okay, I agree with you one hundred percent. But let's say something okay. like you know, uh, I don't know, your favorite candy or so. You know, would you want more wardrobe? Would you want like something um, on a production level? I don't know. Maybe something to drink. <laughs> something to eat? <laughs> yeah, our production went off, off rail that day and, and, and the female actress did not get tea, but we eat all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so no, I think the most important thing is actually the attitude because of a lot on like a lot of the sets, people are so like cold and they don't talk to each other and I feel like when we actually like um, did like one of the shooting days, everybody was like so happy and like so like willing to like uh, help each other and everything. So it was really really fun and that made it like so much more fun to like actually uh, like shoot uh, like all the scenes and everything. So it was like really really fun. I agree with you. I was blown over that day by how everybody was. It was oh, yeah. just amazing. I'll, I'll always always remember it because I was. It was a tough day. It was oh, a yeah. tough situation, and it just everybody pitched in. It, it really meant a lot to me. Oh, yeah. Now I'm on my way from the interview. It was really really fun and. 
uh, really interesting because we talked a lot about like publishing and stuff uh, so and it's gonna be super super fun this project I'm so excited about this uh, like the total truth project like like the total truth web series uh, it's gonna be really really fun because we're, we're gonna be like really involved with the whole proce process of like publishing and like trying to help them like uh, promote the project so it's gonna be really really fun because I like that sort of stuff like publishing and everything so please go in and like like them on Facebook Facebook, like look at the trailer trailer when it comes out and like look at the small like teaser clips it's gonna be so much fun I'm looking so much forward to like seeing them and I think the next shooting date is like like this weekend or next weekend I'm not really sure because uh, they have to like get the, the location that they want but it's gonna be so much fun I'm like so excited for this project so yeah but this was like so much fun and the guys are super super nice uh, uh, and they're like really like supportive and like so excited about the project I think that's so amazing because a lot of people here that work on projects are super bitchy and like stuck up and just like so not nice and these guys are super super nice and the whole like cast and crew is like turn so involved in everything oh my god now I have to turn okay uh, yeah I think I have to stop filming now see you later Bye, but it was so much fun. See you later, bye.